uh, today we're going to have a brief chat uh, about solar controllers, uh, namely MPPT solar controller. Um, we've been using a quite cheap, well, £30 controller from eBay for the last couple of years, one with the LCD display. Um, does all the, the gimmicky things, well, not gimmicky, the, the things like uh, low voltage disconnects, um, uh, what power, the, vol the panels will go off, etc, etc. Um, we never felt that it would actually charge, they actually charge our batteries particularly well, um, considering we, at times we're using 250 watts of panel. Um, I managed to short out the low voltage disconnect side, so I, I dismantled it to have a look, see if I could repair it. Uh, and it did work, turn out that it wasn't actually an MPPT inside, um, didn't have the large inductive coil, which is what you need for uh, MPPT. Um, so with that, I decided to spend a few more pounds and to buy a Victron Energy Smart Solar MPPT. So this can, can connect through most Bluetooth devices. Uh, what I did find is it doesn't connect with an Android phone with uh, any operating system less than uh, 6. So on my wife's uh, iPhone 6 and uh, both of my children's uh, iPod Touch here, the Bluetooth connectivity was, was, was fantastic. Um, we've been using this now for probably two or three months. Uh, our batteries charge a much faster now. Uh, very, very happy with that. Um, our van is in Greece and you can see that this solar control is here. The reason that it is is that we had an issue with the low voltage disconnect for some reason. It would turn itself on and off uh, during the day uh, when we had full sun etc. Uh, maybe for a few seconds it was like an intermittent faults and not what the low voltage disconnect should be doing. Uh, especially as everything was within its parameters. Uh, so. Straight away, um, I contacted uh, Victron Energy in Holland, or sort of Netherlands, sorry, and uh, asked to speak to their technical department. They were actually incredibly rude, um, wouldn't put me through. Um, I was nothing but polite because I understand, as, as, as with all, anyone, you speak to people nicely and generally you get a nice response, but that was not the, the, uh, the case. So I had to go back to the company I bought this from, which was Battery Megastore. Um, obviously they're not experts in this, so they put me through to um, the company in England called Energy Solutions in Rochester, who do all the repairs uh, and warranty work for Victron Energy. I spoke to the tech guy there, a very nice guy, um, very friendly, but didn't understand about low voltage disconnects. Um, which was surprising as it's a product that they repair and sell. Obviously, he's not the guy in the workshop, you know, putting this on a rig and, and, and testing it. Anyway, long story short, we had to bring, bring the original one back from Greece. So our van is in Greece. Uh, we have no solar controller. We have, obviously, we have an alarm system. We have a tracking system as well on our vehicle, which I, I'm very much hoping that it hasn't flattened our Trojan batteries because that could be quite an expensive problem for us. Um, anyway, brought, this, brought it back, sent it back to, sent it to Energy Solutions, um, no problem. Uh, they say seven to 14 working days turnaround time. Uh, I think it was in the region of 20 to 25 working days to get this back. Um, and it wasn't until we chased them uh, a couple of times that they actually acknowledged and they actually sent us a, a replacement unit. So I, I was correct in saying that there was a problem and it was not to do with the way that I connected or wired something in the vehicle. Um, negatives aside, um, this is an amazing piece of kit. I wish I'd bought something like this years ago rather than buying you know, a £30 controller or a 15 or £40 controller from eBay. Um, the, didn't do what it was supposed to do. So, so what the cheaper controller was doing or, or not doing was that what they're supposed to do is when you get say 22 volts from the panel, it brings that down to 12, 12.5, whatever, depending on the state of your batteries. But as that voltage comes down, it should increase the current, so you should be getting you know a decent amount of charge. What this, what it was doing was it was reducing the, the voltage down to whatever it needed, 12, 12.5, etc. But it wasn't increasing the current. It didn't have the capacity to do that. So. Um, that's the reason why we, we, it was never as good as, as we anticipated. This on the other hand has so many lovely features. 
the fact that you can hide this away in your cupboard, don't have to face surface mount it on the outside of your cupboards or anything. And you go on to the App Store uh, for an Apple product or if you've got an Android system on the Play Store and you don't download the Victron Connect app. Um, lots of information on there. I would recommend rather than me sitting there going through what it does, what it doesn't do is go on to the App Store, download the app to your phone or, or tablet, go into the demo section um, and it will show you all the different things in terms of yield, um, a history of your yield, uh, usage, etc., etc. It's very good and it gives you a very, very good indication whether your battery bank is, is in good condition or not. Um, so one of the features I really love about this uh, product is that the low voltage disconnect is an intelligent disconnect. So with your like the cheaper controller we had before, where you can set your low voltage disconnect to say 11.8 volts, depending on obviously what battery you're using. Um, is that as soon as it hits 11.8 volts, it cuts off. Now, if you've got a night heater on the startup process and your compressor fridge turns on and you're putting maybe 15 amps, that will push your batteries, you know, even good batteries, you know, say batteries are 12 volt and you've got a reasonable size battery bank, that will push them down probably below the 11.8 volts, which means it then shuts off completely. Um, what this does instead is it has a, a two minute buffer. So you, you, your, your heater comes on, um, two minute warm up cycle on that, uh, generally you're not going to have a spatula and your compressor fridge is, is running, uh, the kids have got the iPod charging, whatever, it will allow the voltage to drop below 11.8 for two minutes and if it's still 11.8 or below 11.8 or whatever you set it to after two minutes then it will shut your system down to protect your batteries. If however once the fridge has, has turned off or the, the, the heater has, has got, is in uh, full working mode, so up to temperature, it will then, the voltage will then increase and it will then sit at maybe 12 or, or whatever it is. So this this basically means that you get more energy out of your batteries but without damaging them. Um, and there's a lot, lot more great features. I'm not going to run through them because you can get onto the app um, and have a look at what they do. Uh, one thing I'm going to say is that you pick up, like the controller we had before, um, it weighs a few grams, you know, not a lot, uh, maybe a weight of, a, of, a, of, a, of a, an iPod or something, or that, a, a smartphone. This is much heavier. Um, the heat sink on the back is huge, it's a very well made product. Um, I certainly recommend it, and if, if I was to install another uh, charging system with solar, I'd certainly recommend using a Victron Energy product. Um, I don't know if there are any alternatives on the market. I've not done that research, much research on other products apart from this one, and that's why I bought it. If, the, if any of you guys have got any other suggestions, uh, maybe a company that does equally good uh, con uh, controllers, uh, but with a much better customer service, please leave comments below. Uh, I'd be very interested to, to see what's on offer. Uh, we, so since last time, last review, we now have a website, which is restfever.co.uk. Um, Obviously, we're on Facebook, we have an Instagram account. Uh, check us out. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please like, uh, please subscribe, uh, and tell your friends about it. So, um, that's all for now, um, and I will see you next time. Thank you.